Once I was a crusader for the Divine Order. I pledged my life to Lucian the Divine. The war changed everything. He sent me to save the elves I grew up amongst. I arrived too late. Lucian ordered the use of Death Fog against the Black Ring. Annihilating everyone I once knew in the process. Now I'm a mercenary killer. One of the infamous Lone Wolves. And my next target is none other than Lucian's own son. after eons in some ghastly crypt. To your people are rather prone to death. Mine are not. Yet when... Better luck next Better luck next time. <laughs> Almost got me that time. Meet your maker. Creep the reaper for me. Meet oh, almost got me that time.
so, it, it wasn't a dream after all. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I mean. Oh, not to worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officer's quarters. Don't you dare. If you violate the virtue of my carpet, I'll do a good thing worse than put a collar around your neck. Index fingers pressed to her lips, she pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gander. My word, you do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with that sedative. Oh well, I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely. Eventually. In the meantime, a new life awaits. And if you're a particularly good boy, perhaps a cure as well. An end to source. For good. Why, for my peace of mind, of course. Why don't you try casting one of those source spells of yours? See what happens. Oh, do go on. I won't hold it against you. Promise. My, aren't we a meek little lamb? Perhaps I needn't have caught, so let's just leave it on. For your own peace of mind, of course. Good gods. This has been a murder here. Ugly sight, it burns me up this happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky no void walk and follow the source that did this. Finn didn't see it, we'll find out. She looks up. I was on. You're one of the only indisputably innocent people on the. Not with that collar. Listen, bring me a good lead. Thanks. <laughs> did the murderer take him into this room? Was he all ready? Would you please tell this very charming gaggle of not at all brat like babes that I am by no accounts this loser woman, nor do I sing, in fact. I'm deathly, deathly allergical. How very correct you are, spouse of mine. Madame Josephine Gribbles de Peeve refuses to be confused with anyone else. What? What's so funny? Her pinched face cracks into a great grin, and she shoos the children away from her with a laugh. Yeah, okay, you found me out. Go on and get, and maybe I'll... She turns to you. Dark... Gotta keep ourselves entertained, haven't we? You presume right. Nope. Trying not to find anything out, either. Ignorance is bliss. The utterer, the better. Thanks, but I already belong to... You take care, though. Suddenly, her... as quickly... Good luck, Chief. An elf sits tucked away in a dark spot, lazily rolling dice onto the surface of a barrel. They sound like the dry cackling of an old witch. Snake eyes. She chuckles. I bet that's just what they'll look like. She shakes her head. Game for one, I'm afraid. Rolling dice? Deciding fates. She eyes you quite seriously. 
<laughs> Not the future, no. But I can read the past. I could lick your arm and tell you how you spent the night before last. She gives your arm a vigorous stroke of the tongue. Efficient, like a cat grooming. Hmm. You were in a cellar with other sorcerers. You were reminiscing <laughs> about the things you used to do together. She pats you on the shoulder consolingly. There, there, don't you worry, darling. Your secret's safe with me. I don't lick and tell. Don't worry, honey. She looks you up and down with the merest tint of a coy smile on her lips. Never say never, though. That right? I always knew you'd turn out rotten, Ben Mest. A scruffy man lounges against the wall with. Watch your back, new fish. There's a murderer on board. Rolling his eyes at the Magister's warning, the man named Ifan beckons again. He leans in and adjusts your collar with a sharp tug, balancing its weight so it pinches less that way, right? Hocking a phlegmy gobbit in your general direction, the sullen Magister said, We used to know each other, Moore's. Standing far, Ifan grins, flashing pointed white teeth. Same as he was at 14 years old. Only difference is somebody gave him a bigger sword and long story. Maybe I'll tell you about it in the joy. I went No. The dead man. He glances over at Damn shame sheer annoyance isn't reason enough. If Anne performs an elaborate Can we just skip to the part where I can assure you and you shut up? You think me mad? Mad? No. Insufferable? Surely. What are you trying to hear anyway? I'll tell you if you can keep it quiet long enough for me to listen. Kid, you been down by the room up the hall? No. Are you sure about that? No. What's your name? No. Another way. Please, please, please. A no doesn't become a yes over time, you know. It was one of them. I know it. Would you put a knuckle in it? I'm trying to concentrate. Just 
insufferable, surely. What are you trying to hear anyway? Here to register, sir. You fair and okay so far? He tugs the collar of his uniform and ch <laughs> Sorry you're upset, sir. But would you head on in now? Standing at the center of So you admit it then? Yes, I did. But she turns her. There are others. Gur, you there, sorcerer. Go and fetch Magister Siwan. By all means, do as the She reaches for her collar. And I'm just about to create a scene. Subdue her, men, quickly! If she casts source, the void woken will come. They'll end us all. She smiles with precise. Magister lies on the floor, unconscious and bleeding from a dire-looking... Not the final dark. Not yet. It's no use. You'll the dice roll darkly. Yeah! 
Doesn't bode well. Onwards and upwards. God damn it! We need to get off this wreck and quick! But a fine grace, what was... He eyes the collar circling your neck. Another sorcerer! The Magister's companion doesn't blink, frozen in place at the sight of you. Like you don't know. He whispers loudly to the... Don't just cower there. Rix grabs his sword, which shakes in the rhythm of his trembling hand. Rix looks to his companion. Go then! on the door, you press your palm against the door to open. It doesn't, but the door grows. Something's breaking through! What in the hell are those things? Death Bog? I need to get out of here now!
enemies are still a chance. Shut your trap, kid. Children and dwarfs first, just like the old stories say. The dwarf yanks at one of the nearby. You said there were other people down there. You see those tentacles, kid? It's time for getting the hell out of here. Fuck you, fuck you, but there's a ladder right over there. You're gonna be the... Woken! These beardless bugs won't sink a ship on my watch. Void Woken was supposed to be scary. I've faced worse. Hmm. Let the games begin. They who are about to try to sleep. but can only gape as she clutches her neck, trying to stem the bleeding of a gushing wound. With jagged movements, she raises her clenched fist and holds out a length of cloth, soaked with some kind of strong-smelling tincture. Blood quickly soaks through the cloth. Magister Siwan's mouth opens and closes, her eyes wide in terror. Honorable Dallas, we lost a ship sailing sorcerer prisoners to Fort Joy. We assume some escaped and broke their collars. Their vile magic lured the Voidwoken. All who were aboard are presumed dead. Yours faithfully into eternity. High Judge Orivan.